We're going to begin today with that state of emergency in California. As wildfires burn across the state, the death toll is unfortunately growing. It sure is. And in Northern California, the campfire alone now claiming the lives of 42 people, making it the deadliest fire in state history. Overnight, President Trump approving a disaster declaration there. And you can see overnight also the flames in Southern California burning near a major highway. And now authorities are warning of explosive fire growth. Want to go to ABC's Gio Benitez in Agora Hills, California. Good morning, good morning, Gio. Yeah, George, good morning to you. We are in Agora Hills, and this is one of the many homes destroyed here in Southern California. It's barely recognizable, with the exception of maybe that chimney right there. I want to take a look at our wide camera right here so you can really see just how widespread this damage is. But then there's the danger that you can't see the air, and firefighters are battling through it all. This morning, firefighters in California are reaching their breaking point. As they desperately try to control the massive Woolsey fire, new fires ignite. Within the last hour, we had two brand new starts, and obviously it just hits home on the fact that we are still in significant fire weather, and the existing fire is not our only concern. We watched as fire crews took to the air when another fire, now called the Peak Fire, flared up right next to the highway and way too close to home. We're on Highway 118 here in the Simi Valley, and just look at all of the smoke here. Authorities are trying to put this fire out right now. You can see that helicopter. There is a neighborhood, a neighborhood right underneath here. Where we were standing, doused with water. This dramatic new fire just northwest of Los Angeles shows how quickly neighborhoods can be threatened and the monumental task firefighters face. The union says at least 39 firefighters have lost their own homes, with dozens more suspected lost. Emergency personnel in the Thousand Oaks area still trying to come to grips with having to deal with a mass shooting and the fires in less than a week. This, as evacuated residents here wonder what happened to their homes. Megan Weddle hasn't been able to get back to hers. She's heard it survived, but this was the last time she saw it. Oh my God, oh my God. Walls of fire lining her neighborhood as she drove out. She thought she'd never see her family again. What's going through your heart right now? Let me make it to my kids. I wanted to make sure that I got safe and, and got to be with my family. Throughout Southern California, at least 370 homes destroyed so far. Up north in Paradise, the death toll from the campfire rising to 42, making it the single deadliest wildfire in state history. It's smoke spreading as far away as San Francisco, where the blackened air hung over Monday night's football game between the Giants and the 49ers. And the 49ers have added extra oxygen available for their players tonight. And there was a really sweet moment on the field last night at that game when the 49ers invited high school football players from Paradise High School to join them on the field for a moment of silence. You know, so many of those students lost their own homes in the fire. And so for one night, they were able to be VIPs on that NFL football field. George. A nice small blessing there. Gio, meantime, we're, we're learning a little bit more about the, the fire up in the north and it may have been sparked by an electrical malfunction. Yeah, George, investigators are now looking at that because, you know, that's what caused some of these major fires last year. So now investigators want to know if it played any role in these fires this time around. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.